hey guys it's been a hot minute okay but i want to be reacting to some of my subscribers secrets yes i asked you guys on instagram to tell me some of your secrets and i'm going to be reacting to them and you know advising you if you need advice i know some of you don't even need advice some of you just want to air out your dirty laundry so today we're going to have fun with it okay so the first one is I easily lose interest in people after a disagreement. I hope it doesn't affect me in marriage. Girl, um, I'm not even sure this is rare. I don't think it's that rare. But I will say you need to find a way to cope with people even after a disagreement. For me personally, I know that after I disagree with somebody, I start looking at them with one kind of eye, depending on how we disagree, but it quickly, you know, fades away and we move on, okay? Yeah, so it's, it's normal for you to be... A little bit upset or a little bit you know not in the mood where after disagreeing with somebody especially if it is a heated disagreement but you just have to find a way to move on if not you're not going to be having friends you want to be friendless and husbandless and partnerless okay because in marriage i'm going to disagree tire tire okay so again like i said i think it depends on how you disagree and what you disagree on okay so if it's something that is a core value to you and you both disagree then i think it's okay to lose interest you don't have to be friends with everybody i love thick men hmm girl <laughs> oh, this one oh well it's a preference yeah but okay mm -hmm. how thick are you talking about are you talking about just someone that has a little something something that someone that has like a regular dad board but if you mean like thick 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 like rolls and folds and stuff like that then girl okay <laughs> but again it's not even a big deal yeah so this next one i think it's just a question but i'm assuming that she's in the situation right now that's why she's asking and the question is does genotype really matter especially when one is deeply in love my answer to this is yes genotype really matters okay i don't know how else to explain this but you just don't want to bring a child into this world that is that has the you know sickle cell um what is the name genotype or whatever you don't you don't want it and trust me you don't want it no matter how in love you think you are you are going to be heartbroken when you see your child going through such that could have been prevented by you um yeah i think it really really matters i think you should find a way to bring yourself out say so you are deeply in love find a way to dig yourself out of that love and find someone else okay so this next one is also like a question as well she's saying i don't have a best friend and i feel bad about it i don't think it's bad to not have a best friend as long as you have friends around you some people don't have like one best friend some people have like a group of best friends you don't have to have a best friend as long as you have people that are in your corner you have friends you have loved ones you are good okay so the next one is i don't want to stay in the uk but my family keeps saying i should i'm tired of bills and not having peace okay girl let me tell you something there's no place where it is easier i don't know maybe you have someone that wants to come and sponsor you in nigeria that is if you're thinking of coming back to nigeria maybe you have someone that's going to sponsor you in nigeria if you don't have then trust me what you're running away from you're going to come here and meet it okay <laughs> A lot of people are running away from Nigeria going to the UK to try and make something for themselves, you know. So, weigh your options very well. With that village people are telling you to come back, you better talk to them very well and ask them, you know, to leave you alone because I don't think your problem is actually location. Um, yeah, I don't see the location because you're going to pay bills whether you're in Nigeria or in the UK. Um, yeah, and not having peace, then that is the one that needs to be addressed. But if it's about paying bills, you're going to pay bills everywhere. We're even complaining about inflation in Nigeria right now. So, except you have someone that you're coming to meet in Nigeria that's going to sponsor you, my dear, stay where you are, okay? So the next one is, I am living and having kids with a married man. Whoa, sis. Whoa, 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 whoa 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 okay he takes very good care of us he wants to marry me but i don't want to be a second wife girl you are already a second wife so what are you talking about like i mean like what what is a second wife going to do that you're not already doing if you are living and having kids with someone who's already married so you are a second wife i don't know why you're saying you don't want to be a second wife because that's what you are except you're saying you don't want to make it official you don't want to put it on paper that you're a second wife then that's okay but as far as i'm concerned there's no difference between you and second wife you might as well just go and introduce yourself to the wife and say sis i'm your co-wife nice to meet you <laughs> 
Now the next one is, I'm 27, I'm still a virgin while I pretend to my friends that I am not. Why? Why? I don't get it. Why are you pretending? I've heard of this a lot where girls pretend, you know, to be bad girls, to be, you know, out there, to have been there, done that, even though they haven't. And I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. Maybe you should change your circle of friends if you cannot be honest with them, if you cannot be free with them to tell them that you have not done it before. Then maybe you should change your circle of friends. Why should you be trying to impress people who are not... For me, of course, I'm concerned, okay? They are not role models, okay? They are not... I don't know. Like, for me, you are the one they should be lying to. They should be pretending to be virgins. <laughs> when you are afraid to be who you are, okay, that is when you are going to be apologizing or pretending to other people so that they will accept you, right? For me, the way I operate, I'm so confident in who I am and what I stand for that you will be the one pretending and adjusting yourself to get my own approval, okay? I'm not saying that you're better than them or they're better than you. I'm just saying that if this is, if this is in your heart something you are okay with and you feel it's the right way for you to go, then why are you shy about it? Why are you ashamed of it? My dear, I don't get it. So the next one is I am considering going on vacation okay to mexico but i'm actually going for a bbl <laughs> why are you why are you pretending to go for a vacation just own it own it own it your full chest okay because when you go and you come back we're all going to see the difference we're all going to know that there's a little something there that wasn't there before okay so just own it your chest that you're going for a bbl if you well that's if you have to tell people that you're going like you can just you can do what you want to do without informing anybody or without pretending to anybody like that's what i i feel generally like me as a person if i want to do something and i know that oh people might not approve or i don't want people to feel some type of way about it or i just don't want to you know get extra attention for it the way me I operate is, I won't tell anybody what I'm going to do and I won't explain to you what I went to do and even when you ask me, I'm just going to laugh and move on, okay? I'm just going to smile, <laughs> and I will go, like, you will figure it out yourself and you won't have the mouth to ask me because I won't even answer you in the first place, so that's just me, yo. Hey, but so I don't even need to pretend to go on vacation, I just go, do what I want to do and come back, I won't tell you where I went to, I won't tell you that I'm back, I won't tell you what happened, we'll just move on like that, if it's pinning you, you leave me alone. I am Fulani by tribe, but I don't want to marry anyone that is Fulani, most especially from my village. I think this is a little bit common as well with some certain tribes, or some, no, not even tribes, some certain people do not want to marry people from their village, like, they know how their village people operate. <laughs> I mean stereotypes about their village people, so they don't want to buy me from their village. So I think it's, it's actually normal, okay? But for me, girl, if you see husband marry, like if you see a good man, even if it's from your tribe, don't don't discriminate against a good man just because of his tribe, right? My secret is that I am no longer in love with my man, and we have two kids together. Each time I want to leave, he will say he will do anything to make me stay. Oh, this is so sad okay ah, this is really sad but how no more in love are you okay how bad is it i think that's because i'm asking how bad is it is it the normal thing that couples go through where sometimes you don't you no longer feel your partner you're no longer having butterflies for him or her you just they're just tolerating them for the time being is it that one that happens normally with couples or are you like i can't stand him i don't i can't take this anymore i don't love him i hate him i can't i just don't want to be with him is that what it is and if it is that why exactly is that the case what exactly happened between the two of you because i mean i'm assuming that you once loved him saying that you're no longer in love means that you once loved him so why did you love him before have those things left have those things changed um has he changed as a person obviously he loves you and he wants you back right you say you said he would do anything to make you stay so obviously he wants you back is there anything he's doing to you that is really bad like is he abusing you physically or mentally or emotionally is he abusive is he a deadbeat dad is he a terrible partner like what is it about your partner that's making you you know not love him anymore for the sake of your kids i think it's important that you actually address those feelings and confront it okay and do something about it because you don't want to raise kids in an environment without love where it is evident that the mom doesn't love their father and she's treating him anyhow I still think about my very first boyfriend after years. I'm with a man now for four years and we have a child, okay? 
So, let me tell you something about this human mind, the human brain, okay, the human emotions. Whenever you leave somebody, whenever you are no longer with somebody, sometimes your brain holds on to the good things that they did, forgetting the reasons why you broke up in the first place, forgetting the reasons why you are no longer together, okay? Your mind will now be downplaying those things that, you know, made you leave or made you guys break up, and your mind will also be up plain <laughs> it will be exaggerating the good times that you people had and make you feel like you know what maybe we shouldn't have broken up maybe we shouldn't have left each other maybe we should have tried to make it work maybe we should have even gotten married and stuff like that blah 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 blah, blah. see just sit down okay and if possible try and remind yourself of all the things that made you leave that relationship or made you guys separate okay remind yourself of remind yourself of those things and appreciate your current man and your current situation okay if not you're going to find yourself trying to go back to that person and when you go back you get your heart broken broken again and when you get your heart broken you're not going to try and come back to this one and then this one's going to not accept you back okay like it can go very very south if you keep allowing those feelings to come up and you know cloud your judgment so please try and Suppress it, okay? Remind yourself why you guys broke up in the first place. Okay, so this next one, she said it's not her secret, it's her friend's secret. And she's saying that her, her husband no longer has an erection. Medically, he is fine and nothing has changed. She has no kids yet. How would you advise her? There must be something wrong. I don't think it's normal for a man to just lose it and then say and then you have gone to check and i say no there's nothing wrong there must be something wrong somewhere especially since you guys are trying to have kids so i think that what you should do is to go and look for different doctors go and check go and get a second third fourth opinion and know what is wrong with him because i can't believe that there's nothing wrong with him and he cannot get it up so this next one is a guy i like wants sex but i don't i believe in waiting till marriage but it is hard so i think it's going to be very hard for the guy not to cheat and it's going to be very difficult for you not to give in if you guys keep dating okay so i think what you should do is to actually find someone on your level find someone who also doesn't want to have sex or who doesn't mind waiting let him find somebody who is ready to have sex with him because i feel like it is not going to work between both of you if both of you keep you know being on your both extremes right it's like if both of you really stick to what you believe in it's going to be very difficult it's going to cause a lot of friction in your relationship for him to always be wanting it and for you to be trying to you know not and for you to be not wanting it okay it's going to be very hard for you not to give it up for him and if you eventually give it up just to please him and make him happy you're not going to be happy with yourself and it might not be all that and he might not even still stick to you he might still cheat which is going to make you even more sad so i don't really see this as a situation where you stand a chance at winning at if the guy is not going to compromise for you so find someone else okay there's there are plenty of fish in the sea there are plenty of fish in the river go and find the one that doesn't want to procreate yet okay so the next one is also about a virgin she is a virgin and she is 34 in july and she's waiting for someone special and i'm like girl you are someone special on your own like you are a unicorn you are a, you are a rare being to still be a virgin at 34 like that is commendable okay kudos to you and i hope you find your special someone i hope you do and i'm sure you are going to find the person okay so the next one is just had my first kiss with my first love but we can't work out because we are both as a yeah that's really sad but i'm happy that you know that it cannot work out like that's the first stage of healing knowing that this is not going to work um and i think you should actually slow down on having kisses with him because you don't want to you don't want a mistake to happen where you have to go and start thinking of getting rid of the child or living with a child that has sickle cell i don't think you should continue seeing the guy even if you have it in your mind that oh we're not going to end up just playing for now don't even play for now okay just move on from the guy so that's it for today i think some of your secrets are not that bad all these things are very 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 common let me let you know okay many of these things are very very common okay about the lady who is masturbating in her marriage i think you should talk to your husband if he's not doing it well then tell him how to do it well communicate to your husband how to do it well if he's not you know giving you that much pleasure i think you should talk to your husband okay talk to him tell him you guys should go and find ways to help each other okay 
talk to him, explore, show him how to. That thing you're using your vibrator, your dildo to do, let your husband do it for you, okay? And see if you get satisfaction from it as well, okay? Yeah, don't rule out your husband or cancel him because at some point you're going to still need that human physical touch, you know, to, to satisfy you. And when you're not getting it, you're going to get frustrated, okay? That is why you married a human being and you did not marry a machine. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're not finding satisfaction, I think you should also talk to your husband about it and let him know and let him be open to actually exploring more and helping you more okay so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys